Hey everyone, David C. Anderson here coming at you from the Knife Center. Today we're at my desk to take a look at some ProTech automatics. We've got them on sale right now at KnifeCenter.com for the best prices we've ever had. Let's check them out. ProTech has some of the best automatic action in the business and this knife shows you exactly why. This is the Tactical Response 3. This version happens to be left-handed. We have a button release that fires that blade out, strong, safe, secure. The blades are 154 cm steel and they feature a black DLC coating for very hard scratch resistance. This version is partially serrated with a combo edge. You get a lot of hard work done with that, cutting through fibrous materials like rope, seat belts, that sort of thing. We've got some nice machined grooves on the front here, which add a little bit of style and a little bit of grip as well. Looks great and carries easily in the pocket. Now you normally don't think of a gentleman's knife when you think of an automatic, but this knife changes your mind in that regard. This is the BR1. We've got a black aluminum frame on here with an ivory micarta inlay, has a nice tuxedo look to it. It also features a deep carry pocket clip, so not very much of that is actually gonna poke out of your pocket, very discreet carry. You'll notice there's no button release on this side. That's because the bolster itself is actually what fires the blade open. You have to push on the front here. The blade fires out just as well as any of their other knives. 154 cm steel again with that DLC finish. Next up is a collaboration with Strider Knives based on their SNG model. And this version features the logo from the 10th annual Usual Suspects Gathering. So this is gonna be very collectible in the future. The colors are also really cool on here. We've got an aluminum frame, and a black and neon green G10 overlay on this side. Really cool look. Hit the button and it fires the blade out just as well as any other knife. 154 cm steel with a tiger stripe finish this time. And thanks to being based on the SNG, you've got a couple different handholds. You can hold it like so or choke up to get a lot of use out of that nice broad drop point blade. Next up is an Emerson collaboration. This is the CQC7 Auto. Excellent action as well. And this knife features a tanto shaped blade and sports a chisel grind, which is typical of Emerson knives. Obviously, since this is an automatic knife, we don't have to have the patented wave shaped opener on here, but we do have a bit of a thumb ramp that kind of maintains that shape and look. There are a couple great options for carrying this knife. We've got a strong pocket clip on one side, but if you'd rather carry it on your belt, we've also got a nice nylon belt sheath. Next up, we've got Protex Take on the classic Italian stiletto knife, and this is called the Godfather features a nice needlepoint blade with very aggressive tip for piercing and that 154 cm steel again with the DLC coating. It's a very evocative knife, very reminiscent of those classic Italian stilettos, especially eye-catching in this black and orange G10 inlaid version, which is exclusive to the knife center, so you can't get it anywhere else. And saving the best for last, we just showed you the Godfather and this is the Godson. This is the steampunk Godson to be exact. It features a copper inlay with a steampunk graphic that's hand engraved by Bruce Shaw on the front. Really cool looking knife, really something that's one of a kind, but apart from that, it's that same great action and same great shape as the Godfather, just in a smaller package. So that's all we've got to show you today. If you don't want to miss out on any of these great ProTech autos that are on sale now, head on over to KnifeCenter.com to pick one up today. Keep coming back, we'll show you all the cool stuff just as soon as it comes in.